What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going back to a Russian orbiter that was sent to Mars in 1974 called the Mars 4. And it brought back 12 photos, I believe, and two panoramas. Let me show you the page we're talking about. Now, you can see at the top of the page, it says Soviet Mars Images, right? This is Mars 3 here they're talking about. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go to Mars 4. You can see Mars 4 right here. It says the first in an armada of four spacecraft launched in 1973. Mars 4 failed to enter orbit. During its flyby on February 10th, 1974, it returned 12 photographs from the 52mm Vega photo television camera all through the red filter. It also returned two panoramas from the optical mechanical cameras. Image data was returned digitally by pulse position modulation. Hmm, what is pulse position modulation? Let's have a look, shall we? Now we'll look at this Wikipedia page right here, and it says pulse position modulation, or PPM, is a form of signal modulation in which M message bits are encoded by transmitting a single phase in one of two M uh, possible required time shifts. It is primarily useful for optical communication systems, which tend to have little or no multipath interference. And you can see right here the picture, and you can see optical communication, also known as optical telecommunication, is a communication at a distance using light to carry information. It can be performed visually or by using electronic devices. This earlier basic forms of optical communications date back several millennia, so on and so forth, and you can read the thing if you want to click on it. But anyway, they used to use different messages through this from ship to ship and maybe ship to shore, right? Really interesting. Optical communications. So if they're using this in 1974, what are they using now? you got to believe that they're using at least laser by now. I know they said publicly they're just starting to use laser, but the military has had laser for quite a while, right? So you can't tell me they're not even at least using that for the Mars missions, right? Even if it wasn't all of the Mars missions, at least the recent ones, you can almost bet, right? You can see synchronization right here. You can read that. And basically, it's it's actually synchronized to the transmission of these uh, PPMs, right? These uh pulse position modulation. And of course, again, you get the page. You can read up all on this. And it's basically a wavelength or a communications like we got here in the passband modulation here on the right. You got AM, FM, which is AM modulation, frequency modulation, uh, pulse. You got QAM, SM, and single sideband. You know, they can run on either side of a frequency, whether it's upper or lower sideband. You can read up on all of this. It's pretty cool, right? So anyway, back to these Mars photos, right? And Mars 4. Now, if we go down, here's the 12. Let's go down to here. And it says, two optical mechanical linear cameras swept out panoramas of Mars as spacecraft passed by. These were very similar to cameras later flown on the Venera 9 and 10 orbiters, but one of the Mars versions had a photomultiplier tube sensitive to infrared. Red and orange filter images have been published, but apparently no infrared panoramas were received from a Mars 4 or Mars 5. Now, the one we're going to look at is one here on the left. Guys, get out your magnifiers. This is all whited out, and it's done for a reason. Now, I understand they have really poor quality cameras compared to today, but you can bet they had the creme de la creme of the cameras back then. And you're going to see that a lot of this has definitely been manipulated, but there's a few things that stick out that show, in my opinion, structures. Let's have a look. All right. You probably won't see my cursor too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just above the areas I want to show you, right here at the top in the black area. We're going to drop down, straight down. There's a structure right here. Okay. Right in this area. Notice, and I'm going to zoom in here. Notice the wall around a said structure. And I'll show you this a lot better in Photoshop. Right here. You got what looks like smaller structures right here. Look at this one here in white right here. I'm just going to circle it right here with my cursor arrow here. Right there, you can see what looks like a half round circle, very faint right there. And what looks like maybe a front of a structure that has smaller openings. There's one small, one larger rectangular one, and another small one, right? And then when you look over here, you have what looks like faded out ones right here. A square right here. Now, there are some artifacts, so we got to be careful. However, there's other weird things in there that just doesn't make any sense. Let's bounce over here. Right here, there's something that's blurred out purposely right here in this area. And it looks like something oval just inside that blurry pot right there. See it? Here's another thing. I'm going to try to bring it down the middle of the screen here. Look at this line here. The way it looks right here in the middle in the white, 
right here going like this. And look at the way this thing is nice edge, like it was shaped, like it's a piece of property or landscape or something to that effect. Again, the top ones here on the right, almost looks like it has this nice shape. See, this is, this is straight on this left side, goes up like this and an angle goes across almost like a half round piece right here, like a structure here, one here on the right and the one to the right of it, okay? Now, let's bounce over to this area, to the left. You don't see it right now, but you will. Right here on the left-hand side, you see my cross, I'm gonna slowly go around this, this area I want you to see. You'll see what looks like a line, a faded line going across like this, and back down to the right. See that? Right comes down straight down, goes across to the left, and then back down, and you can see these pieces here. Now, there's more items in here, guys. We're gonna break this down for you in Photoshop. Let's have a better look, shall we? All right, and you see it's a Mars 4 Panorama 1. Now, again, I've made this much bigger, and I can show you this. And you can see right here, there's two structures laying right here. Let's have a better look. Watch this. Let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit, okay? So we'll make a little bit better angle like they're facing us, okay? We're gonna go like this. Now, check out the almost landscape or walls around said object, okay? Looks like it appears to be doing this and back up. This object, and when I say object, this could be many, many objects together here. And this area I said here prior, right? We have what looks like a structure doing this. Looks like we have a small opening or window, call it what you will. A wider one here in the middle. And a small one, just like the one on the left, we have one on the right. What's the chance of that? We also have something that looks like something on top of it. Again, it looks like some more small openings right there. Now, let's look at the lines down here that simply don't look natural. Goes like this, comes over to here, goes down. What are the chances of that doing naturally on the ground, right? We have other pieces here. And guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the full enhancement in a moment. Look at the pieces in between, okay? Now, all of this really bright white has been manipulated. Now, this could be due to the camera as well, and this is the reason we're not seeing it too well, but it just seems a little weird how we have all of these pieces down in this section here that just have this weird fuzziness crap doing this. I believe this has been manipulated and obfuscated just like we see on the moon. You notice how it's really bright like we see the moon, right? This area here goes up like this, over, comes back down and we have something coming out from under it. Almost looks like there's a real big pipe right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. And it may not be that at all. That may be simply just shadowing right here. Just the way the landscape is, guys. Is this natural? My opinion, no. Looks like you have one, two, three pieces here. We have what looks like objects in here. Not sure what to make of that. Something right here. Another one here. Look again with your magnifiers. Pause it anywhere you like. Other pieces here. Look carefully. You can see something right here. Where this is shaped here. And looks, if you look really careful, you can see things inside here, like other structural pieces or something. And even if it's natural, I'd be okay with that too. But nonetheless, it's just kind of put in this position or this area where they're all kind of clumped together. And again, these could be large boulders there too. Here's the other area I was talking about. All right? All right. Take a full lines, and I'll let you guys see these yourself again pause it nothing there no lines no nothing 
again here, here, here. I'll just put a bunch of arrows here so you can actually see this yourselves. On the bottom here. This line right here almost looks like some kind of cut out landscape. And you'll see a bunch of things here too, guys, along with this line I just told you about. So we'll have a look. Let's get into the full enhancement. Now check these out. Here. That's right here. And also take note of the small pieces behind the square out area behind this piece here. And again, look like openings or windows of some sort. Large one in the middle. Small ones on the outer parts. And some kind of weird design here. I'm not sure what that is. Look closely at the pieces down here too, guys. All of this area. Have a close look. Even if some of this is compression artifacts, and it could very well be, and I mean like these here. Look at the pattern in there. However, look at the pieces down in here. Very, very small pieces. We have other items in here like this. This one here. Like I said, guys, in my opinion, no. Nah. This is not natural. Right? Pieces over here. Goes across, comes back up. There's something here. I'm not sure what to make of that. And of course, that line disappears, that edge. Other pieces here. This area here which I thought was interesting, right here. Notice this nice curve here, like that there. And we have what almost, of course it looks kind of distorted, but nonetheless it's here. Now just have a look at this line here. I'm gonna go back to the raw photo, supposed raw. It is in fact right there. We have these objects here. Notice how it's whiter here than the rest of this. What they tried to do, guys, just like they've been doing on the moon since what? Late 60s, early 70s. It's no different. They've done the same thing here. And this is Russia at the time in 1974. Folks, there's been a lot of missions that went to Mars. Here's the thing. You don't hear too much about the Mars 4 and the Mars 5. You hear about 2 and 3 and so on and so forth. But you don't hear a whole lot of from, again, the 4 and 5, right? Guys, here it is. Have a look. This is in color here. Pause it here. Have a look. Tell me what you think. I'm going to slide this over here so we can get these other areas here on the, on the left. Right here. And just have a look at the lines and the stuff that's in here. Go black and white. I'm going to go back to the roar as well. So you can pause it here first. This is just fully enhanced, only in black and white. And then this is the original. Just these alone tell me that these are structures and they've been heavily manipulated to try to get them out of there, just kind of blend in. But again, you don't usually have a structure that does this. Has what looks like walls around it. Looks like it does this. Actually, it looks like there's a shadow inside this boxed out area. And what you have is type things like that, right? Folks, what are you seeing in these photos? I see what looks like a lot of the moon photos where it's all whited out, airbrushed. But yet there's a couple things in there that actually stand out that may not actually be natural. 
I see what looks like structures. That's my opinion. And if they knew that way back in the 70s and even earlier, folks, there's no surprise that these uh, space agencies are all over Mars. I mean, come on. Again, if you were one of these people working for these three-letter space agencies, would you not want to go there some way, somehow? Even if you couldn't put man there, hence the rovers, the landers, not so much the orbiters, they're the eyes in the sky to tell them, oh, wow, there's stuff on the surface of there. Let's get landers there as well as rovers later on in the years. And here you go. As always, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, please like and share. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Again, let me know what you guys see. Guys, get some other stuff coming up as well. More moon as well as more Mars. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, have a great morning, good evening, and a good night. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace, guys.